My name's Anita McDowell. My job title is Batch Scheduling Specialist. Helping to schedule jobs, helping to uh, watch for data set triggers. To schedule multiple jobs, we run 5,000 jobs a day, so it helps us to keep all of that in order, uh, keep all the dependencies, everything flowing in the right direction, any kind of events, getting all those alerts and anything that could help with making things faster, not keeping anything behind. It's uh, very reliable. I haven't had a lot of problems with it, uh, working through the schedule, making changes and simulating, making things work. We've had a couple of problems and we've written into them or called into them and they have been very responsive, helping us solve the problems. It might take a day or two or a week, but they're always very helpful. Recently, we had a problem with our uh, wob trees failing because the servers and different things were having updates to them and it would be pulled away from uh, workload automation. Kiki actually helped us to uh, put some more information in to restart the wob trigs more than just once, and that was all we were doing. And since we put that into our product, we have not had any more bins with this. Anything new is a little bit complex. It's a great tool now that I've learned it. Uh, just at first, just the, the learning curve of learning the tool, doing some things wrong, but we, we've re you know it is a great tool and it has helped us. A lot better than our previous scheduler. Maybe just uh, new ways to schedule things, maybe a little bit more options for scheduling, uh, more keywords, things like that. That would help. Well, because we were having multiple events every day. We, had, we were having like five to 10 events every day and we would have to restart them continuously. And we talked to uh, CA support and they were telling us that that's not right and that we needed to add some uh, new parameters to help with this process. We, we, we thought it was something on our side and we did check with our guys on our floors with the different windows, the different agents, and it turned out it was just something that could be fixed in uh, ESP. The management went out and looked at different tools and brought them in and we looked at different things because we were wanting to run across multiple platforms. TWS couldn't do that. It was mainly a mainframe and when we were really branching out to the different uh, distributed platforms, we needed a tool that would, go, would cover all of them and ESP was that. I'll give it a nine. It's a great tool. Um, I, I really like working with it. Now that we've got it and had it, it's very easy to use. And I think it's easy for other people to use too because we had to work a lot of kinks out at first because a lot of our stuff came straight from TWS over to CA and we just did a transition of straight over. We didn't work the whole schedule. So we did have to work out some problems with it, you know, just, just to begin with. Now that we've got things smoothed out, it's, it's great. It depends on what, what they're looking for too in a, in a tool. If they're needing something like we did to go across multiple platforms, I think it's great. But I have nothing to compare it to except TWS, but I think this is a great tool and I think it really ha it solves the problem for us anyway. It's a great tool.